right, welcome back to more Sakura Succubus 2. Now, we just came back and we're heading into the changing room. The women's changing room. Uh, as you could probably notice, things are about to get out of hand at this point. Oh dear. Well, we already know the consequences of this, so uh, let's see how it goes. The changing room, as Hazel claimed, proved to be quite a good place to take extra shots. Hazel poses upon a wooden bench, the towel draped on her neck. She twists and turns this way and that while I point the camera at her face. Uh, she alters between standing and sitting, stretching, wiping her brow, and then taking sucks of her bottle of water. Of, of, sorry, from a bottle of water, excuse me. She looks like an athlete who's just returned from a tennis court basking the glows of her victory. These picks feel more personal than those of Hazel on the tennis court racket in hand. They're all staged, of course, but they feel charmingly candid. Hazel's smile doesn't falter. She's a natural at this. If I didn't know she was a sportsman, I'd easily mistake her for a model. As Hazel promised, the changing room is empty. No one comes in to bother us during our shoot. Just the two of us. I was so focused on my work, I filtered everything else out. I feel like we're the only people left in the world. And that's a wrap. Cool. I finished taking the last shot and then turn off my camera. Thanks, Hazel, for being so cooperative. I'm sure these photos will turn out great. Do you really think so? Did I do a good job? you done wonderfully. That's one of the best shoots I've had in a long, long time. Yay, then I'm glad that I'll be able to help out. I hope people like these photos. I'm sure they will. The scenery sure seems more appro approachable. The photos of you in the tennis score shows off the mean serious side, and then the photos in the changing room displays your cheerful down-to-earth qualities. Side by side, these photos should make for a nice contrast. Like chili chocolate? Exactly. You're pretty quick to catch on. Oh no, not really. I'm a huge dummy. But being praised makes me feel all fluttery. My cheeks are getting all hot. <laughs> Damn it. I only, I only known your, you for an hour and you're t you've totally charmed me. <laughs> Hazel thumps me on the shoulder, her face burning. You should have a way with words, Hiroki. I'm not sure about that, I'm just being honest. But I'm being honest too. I think we're, we get on pretty well, you and I. I'd like to talk with you a little more. All these photographs and stuff seems pretty interesting, but what, what girl does, doesn't like being complimented? I had a lot of fun, but I guess our time's up, huh? That's right. I glance at my watch, only got a couple hours left before my approach time, but I really should get going now before Yuriko gets suspicious. You should probably get back to practicing, too. Yeah, you're right. Hazel sighs. I like practicing, but I don't know. Sometimes it gets a little old. I like hanging out with new friends even more. But I don't want to keep you. Goodbye, Aroki. It's nice meeting you. You too, Hazel. Thank you very much. I turn to the entrance to the changing room ready to leave, but... Hazel? Hazel, where are you? Oh, shit! Crap! Crap! No, 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 please tell me she's not here. No, 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 no. My fingers free from the door, not my whole body tense. Uh, I can hear her voice from beyond the door. It's emitting from the hallway and it's getting louder and louder from every passing second. Hazel, are you getting changed? Hazel? Hazel? Hazel, I hit. Name of my voice panicked. Your girl's coming. I can hear her. She's going to find me. Oh, no, that's bad. Um, I don't want you in trouble because of me. Uh, we need to hide. Hide? But where? I glance, I glance around the chain room wildly, but I don't see that much in a place to hide un other than underneath the benches or maybe in the shower stalls. When I deether, Yuriko's, foot Yuriko's footsteps get closer and closer. The doorknobs started to turn. Hazel? Shit, 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 shit! Okay. Um, she's going to find me that I disobeyed her orders and then I'll be in for it. I'll never be able to work with Hazel again. Uh, she might be, she might even complain about the lack of professionalism to my boss. My career will be in tatters. 
Uh, oh, this is it. This is the end. I can't keep going anymore. Hiroki, quick, in here! Wait, what? I feel a strong, slight grip about my upper arm. I'm holding forth in the human strength, dragged into a dark, cramped, confined space. Please tell me we're not in the lockers. A m <laughs> metallic clank resounds around me. Hazel? As if at a precise moment, door to the changing room opens. Yoko must have entered the room. She's looking around for us, but she can't see us. That's because... I called it. Damn it! <laughs> God damn it! This is... I knew it was in the changing... I knew it was in one of the fucking lockers. Mm. Hazel just pr pulled me into a nearby locker. I called it. God damn it! The locker's so cramped, I can scarcely move. My shoulders bump uh, against the sides of the lockers, and my legs are threaded helplessly with Hazel's. Since Hazel is pulling me into the locker after her, her back is pressed up against the wall. Given our current positions, it must have looked like I'm um, pinning her down. Hazel's bosom is pressed against my chest. I can't see her. It's so dark, but I can definitely feel her. We're even closer than the pair of lovers. There's barely any space between us. Given we've known one another less than an hour, things surely are progressing fast. It's no wonder Hazel's breathing is so irregular. She sounds so little when she's having a panic attack. Hazel? I, can, I can't see Yuriko, but I can hear her. She's pacing around the changing room, with the heels of her shoes clicking against the ground. That's funny. I could have sworn I heard her voice. I guess she's not here. Mr. Azagara is it? Did he leave? I didn't see him. And he didn't check out. Oh well. I have to keep looking. If I find if I find he fell to my authority, he'll be in serious trouble. Yoriko's heels clack smartly against the ground as she turns to leave. She closes the door behind her with a thud and then the changing room is pl once more into silence. <sighs> I, ex I exhale heavily. My shoulders slumping with relief. That was close. I'm glad she didn't find us. Shall we get out, Hazel? Oh, um, I guess we could, but, uh... But what? Are you alright? I'm fine. It's just, well... Um, Hazel's body shifts beneath mine. Her bosom presses against my chest more intimidately than ever, and her knees nudges between my legs. Hiroki? Oh, Hiroki. Her voice has dropped so low. Oh, no. Is this really where we're going with this? Are you fucking serious? Oh, come on, man. Like, god damn it. Hazel, I, uh, what's going on here? I thought she was lesbian. Was I wrong? If she didn't know any better, I think she's trying to flirt with me. There must be something wrong with me. I don't really get this myself, but being so close to you like this, it makes me feel so hot. Hot? Are you sick? No, I'm not. I'm all flushed. But my thinking is just fine. I know what I want, and I want you. Oh, she is. She is straightforward. I like this girl, but hey. <laughs> we have settled so far into this. Me, me, me. What are your coach? Isn't she your partner? She is, but. We're not exclusive. I love Yuriko a lot. But I love a lot of other women besides her. I love men too. Ah, so I guess the rumors about her being lesbian weren't entirely accurate. Besides, the, based on her confession, she must be bi. I was correct. I love anyone who can excite me. I like beautiful, elegant women who are kind and kind, sweet men. You're being very kind to me, Hiroki. You smell good too. Your aroma is very delectable. Wait a minute. It's making me go out of control. I fucking knew it. I, come on, you gotta be kidding me. So she's a succubus too? Come on! This is some bullshit! Now everybody's it's together. I can't fight my instincts. I have to have you right here, right now. Well, I can't believe I did something so brazen. By the way, is anyone not noticing that this bitch literally just... Okay. Hazel sits on the bench in the changing room. Her shoulders slump in her hands on her face. 
I can just about see her cheeks through her crisscross fingers. She's burning red with embarrassment. I didn't think Hazel was was this sort to get flushed, but I may have misjudged her. She's more maidenly than her tomboyish demeanor suggests. I'm so sorry, Hiroki. That crossed the line even for me. I don't know what I was thinking back then. Well, no, I do. Hazel let her hands fall from her and she looks up at me, eyes large and guilt-ridden as she cries. I wasn't thinking at all. I got all worked up and, and let my stupid urges get the better of me. I practically forced myself upon you. I am the worst. Hey, Hazel, it's all right. It's true it was sudden, but I don't really mind. It's not like it was. It felt bad or anything. Really? You're not just saying that because you're being nice, are you? Do you really mean it? I mean every word. If, if I really wasn't in it, you, I would have pulled away. Oh, so something did happen. So, we have confirmed, ladies and gents, that Hazel is a succubus. Good fucking lord. Though, to be honest, there wasn't much room to pull away. The interior of the locker was very tight and narrow. Though pressed against Hazel's body as I was, I could have opted out of an escape. I only needed to push the door open. The fact that I didn't shouldn't speak volume, she has no Hazel has no reason to feel ashamed. I'm okay with what happened, really. Don't beat yourself up. Ah, jeez. Thanks, Hiroki. You're really nice. Still, I can't deny that this was my fault. You shouldn't be in this changing room. You didn't want to come here, but I insisted. It was because of me that I got roped in such a sticky situation. I'm training to be a pro tennis player, but I did something so totally unprofessional. Your opinion to me must be ruined. It's fine. I don't think any less of you, I swear. In fact, part of me wouldn't have been opposed to be doing, doing that with Hazel again. Though, preferably, under better circumstances, the smell of sweet multi socks was a bit of a turn off. Well, if you're sure, thanks again. Sorry that you had to put up with me. <laughs> it's fine. I'm used to it by now. You are? Hazel's eyes widen. Did you get jumped by girls every second of the day? You're not like a total harem protagonist, are you? If I'd been posed as such a question for only three months ago, I would have laughed in duration. Me, a harem protagonist? I would have said, yeah, right. Then there would have been a rabbit po that pounds Moochie onto the moon. Now, however, I guess that wouldn't be entirely inaccurate. I see, I see. Hazel nods in her head and her neck to Chen. You must be. You must be kind of like me. Then I have a lot of lovers too. Yuriko included? Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of which, she wouldn't be happy she finds out what happened today. Can you keep it a secret, please, Hiroki? Pretty, 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 please. I don't know if lying to one partner is a good practice, but after interacting with Yuriko, I can understand why Hazel's so angsty. Uh, I wouldn't want her to get on her bad side either. Sure, I can. If she finds out, I'll be in trouble too. Speaking of which, I should probably go. I overstayed my welcome. According to my watch, it's 10 minutes past seven. Oh shit. Um, my trust in the locker only lasted a few minutes but it only put me over my appointed hour I should get back to work my boss will be uh, to be floaters I don't want to make Yoko suspicious either that's a good point ah uh, I need to start training too I've been slacking off a bit too much <laughs> I'll let you go now only only she gets to her feet and takes a step forward to me she leans in arms like behind me and then takes a breath in <laughs> I wasn't mistaken either. You really do smell good. Again, with my smell, huh? I really wonder if she's some sort of saint fetish, and I, I don't think there's anything in about my aroma. I doubt I smell anything but soap of cheap body spray. I'm just the average guy, all taupe. But Hazel looks at me as like some sort of god. Nigga, have you not put two and two together? She's, she's getting rather familiar. This is the first time after a concert. Could it be? Hey, Hazel, I was wondering, this might sound stupid, but forgive me if this doesn't make any sense, but you're not a succubus, are you? Ah, Hazel's mouth falls with a surprise, her eyes 
was a comedian as she stuttered helplessly. What, 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 what? Who told you? That's supposed to be top secret. Ah, I knew it. God damn it. I knew she was a fucking succubus. I had a hunch that something fishy was going on. Even she started prowling at me like a cat in heat. It's nice to get a bit of confirmation. If Hazel was a bit more calculating, she she got to brush aside my query of a low succubus. What's that? Everybody knows succubus don't exist, dummy. But I was banked in I was banked on her not doing that, though. She was too earnest. Some might say stupid in her own good. Oh no, this is bad. This could be really bad. Crap, 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 crap. The princess told me to keep my true identity a secret. I only I meant to let any humans know who I am. If she finds out about it, I'll be ruined. I'm going to get punished. She'll spit out at me, step on me, and pull on my hair. That's kind of scary. And that's kind of exciting, too. Yeah. I've heard of this uh, this uh, succubus princess before. Marina's mentioned her on a couple occasions, and so has Hifumi. Hifumi herself used to be the succubus princess before she abdicated. I wonder what uh, person she is. Based on Hazel's panic, she's quite frightened. Will I ever meet her? I turned this thought over ideally in my head, but now not the time to ponder things. I need to calm Hazel down. If she makes too much noise, Yuriko might hear me, and it will be the game over for real. It's alright, Hazel, don't worry. I already kn know about you, Succubi. It's not your fault. Huh? You do? Do you have much experience with Succubi, Hiroki? You must, if you were able to figure me out so fast. I thought I'd done a pretty good job blending in with humans. Well, you really have. You have no idea you were Succubus at first, but then you started talking about my smell. Marina said the same thing. That's what drew her to me. Marina? Marina tips head over to one side. Oh, you mean Wakazuki Marina? You know her? Yeah, she approached me at a bar a month or so back, and we stuck up in a relationship of sorts. She told me the truth about you sucking by. She also told me you had a, I had a unique scent, which can attract sucky by in some unknown reason. I don't understand my appeal myself, but I met a few sucky by since then. There's a you and Cosmos and a Fumi too. There's, it was strange at first, but I. I'm getting used to interacting with Succubi. I don't think you're all different from from ordinary humans. Ah, I see. I was getting all panicky for a sec but there, but if Marina's the one who told you about us, then that should be fine. It looks like I've dodged a bullet here. <laughs> Man, I hate to get on Princess Bad Side. She's like super scary. I have heard. She makes me curious about her. I wonder if I'll ever meet her. I don't know. She spends most of her time in the Succubus realm, so she can oversee all of us. She doesn't like to spend time with humans very much. She might take she might take an interest in you, though. You think she would? Well, yeah. You're ingratitated yourself to a whole bunch of succubi. I bet the princess is watching us even now. She probably had eyes on you for a long, long time. You better be careful, Haruki. Hazel claps a hand on my shoulder. The princess is getting, can get kind of jealous. If she starts talking, taking a liking of you, she might be. You might be in real danger. I wouldn't be surprised. After my chat with Hazel, I gather my equipment and then leave the Okara Sports Center. I check out uh, at the court with Yuriko and apologize profusely for over well staying my welcome. I know I stayed for a few more hours. I shouldn't. I'm sorry. I just got a little lost. I was looking for the toilet and I wasn't sure where it was. All right. I suppose that explains why I couldn't find you in a tennis court when I checked. Yuriko doesn't seem entirely convinced by my lie, but since she has no proof of my wrongdoing, she obliged to believe me. Very well then, my apologies. I should have shown you there where the facilities were. In any event, I hope you have a productive morning. I sure did. I got a lot of great photos of Hazel. Thank you for your cooperation. I bowed humbly to Yuriko and then take my leave. I walked to the train station and board my next train back into Tokyo. Then, as I sit there, rocked by the irregular rumbling of my locomotive, of the locomotive, excuse me, uh, I let my head fall back against the window. Scenery speed past by me in the blur. I see strings of square houses tipped with the television rails, swaying gently in the breeze. I inhale heavily, my bag filled with Expensive camera equipment clenched between my legs. Today's photo shoot was meant to be a brief one, but 
I feel bone tired. I never thought about Hazel being a succubus herself. Me neither. Or that the succubus princess, whoever she is, might have an eye on me. This is like my life. It's one so unvent uneventful. I started to move at a breakneck pace. What's going to happen to me next? I'm almost afraid to find out. I get to work a little after midday, exhausted from my early morning. It would be nice if I can get a rest for the day off, but you know what to say. There's no rest for the wicked. <sighs> I upload all the photos of Hazel I took to the cloud. While I was in the middle of sorting things through the images, yawning as I do so, my boss ambles me a cup of coffee in hand. Oh, Gazawara, it's good to see you. I trust you had a fruitful morning? Oh, yes. Uh, the shoot with Hazel went even better than I expected. Wonderful. D did you get a lot of juicy photos? Mm, I'll let you be the judge of that. See for yourself. I, s I started to scroll through the photos I took of Hazel. My boss observes them over my shoulder, nursing his cup of coffee all in the while. The strong scent of coffee beans hang in the air. It makes my stomach rumble. I don't think I've had lunch yet. I murder some of Herfumi's rice balls right now. Heck, I'm so famished I can't even settle for the far less inferior rice balls from the nearby convenience store. Oh, ooh, these are nice. Very nice, in fact. My boss leans in close, closer and closer to my monitor with every photo I showed him. He really did take a, I really did take a lot of pictures this morning. It was easily like 200 of these, maybe even more. Um, most of these shots depict Hazel in the tennis court in various actions oriented poses. And there were a few of the sh her stretching and even more of her holding the racket, her expression fierce and determined. Uh, I think these shots look rather nice myself. But my boss seems rather more taken of the photos taking the photos in Hazel in the changing room. He owned her pumps, thighs, and her heavily bosom um, bashly. I swear he has no shame. <laughs> no shit. Hey, goes around. Pause on that photo. Pause on the shot of her sitting on the bench in the changing room holding on the bottle of water in her lips. The way her tongue popped out between her pursed lips suggests that it was rather salacious. Oh yes, this is good. My boss chuckled in the heavily and heartily approval. This is sternly work, Ogazawara. I particularly like this more candid shots, which shows Hazel at the most vulnerable. These action shots in the tennis court are nice too, of course, but I think I'd like to see even more photos of her similar caliber at her first. Caliber, excuse me, I saw, uh, forget it. Perhaps I arrange another meeting between you and Hazel. You can take more photos at our other locations. A uh, variety of spice of life, after all. You could have s some of her workouts in the gym, or maybe pose in the pool in a nice one type piece. I he I've heard she's quite an accomplished swimmer, too. Heh. I can't help but smirk at this. And solicit though it might be. My boss is so transparent. I started to think he's asking me to photograph Hazel, not out of a genuine interest of her sport achievements, but because he wanted to oblige, ob oh, sorry, ogle her body. If that's the case, I can't blame him. Her tone tan body is rather attractive, but he could try and be a little less blatant about it. Why does he need photographs of her in the swimsuit anyway? Next, he'll have to take, sh he'll be asking to take shot ask her for shots of her in the shower I'm sorry sir but I don't know that uh, how possible that would be oh my boss tone is darkened he glows at me his earlier good humor gone are you trying to tell me what I can and can't do Agazawara need I remind you I am your boss you lowly employee if I give you a task you must do everything in your power to complete it that is the nature of our relationship don't get a swollen head because I complimented you once or twice. You still have a lot of room for growth. That attitude of yours in particular needs to change. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Yeah. 
I know you're the only one in charge here. It's just... The receptionist at the Oka Sports Center a year ago, her name was was very adamant that I go that I'd not go into any of rooms other than than the indoor tennis courts. I was only able to take snapshots in the changing room on the sly. If she found out, then I then I would have been ejected by her premises. I can go back, but I doubt she will let me into the gym or the pool. Hmm. So this young woman was giving you groove, didn't she? My boss sets his coffee down on the desk and then cuffs me over the head. Fortunately, he doesn't use too much force. You dozy boy. You should have told me earlier instead of trying to act all smart. I'll phone the small center later today and resolve this issue. I'll book you another appointment for next week, maybe? And then I'll grant you access to any other, and to other parts of the sports centers. I'll do everything to accommodate you. Or well, my name isn't Agzawa Sasu. Huh? I look at my boss blankly. Your name is Tatsu? Yes, it is. Why? You didn't know that? No, sir. I'm so used to calling my boss, well, boss, I never thought of him as having a name. It must have come up before, of course, but it never really stuck. How about that? I feel like I've learned something new today. Well, it doesn't matter. We're not friends, Agazawara. So you have no reason to call me by my first name, sir. Is it good enough for the likes of you? Yeah, I figured this much. Seriously, what was the point of that little interlude? Now, I'll get on the phone with Okawa Okawa Sports Center. I can't have them tell my workers where and when they can't go. Not while they're on the job. Uh, I'm counting on you to get even more high-quality premium pictures of Hazel Williams. Don't let me down now. I won't, sir. I'll do my best. That's what I like to hear. boy. My boss retrieves his coffee from the desk and walks back to his office. Jeez. I lean back in my chair exhausted. It looks like I'll be seeing Hazel again sooner than I think. Here we go, too. <sighs> I hope she doesn't give me too much trouble. All right. I think this is where I'm going to have to hold it here. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. If you guys want to see more, make sure to leave a like. Also, hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel. Also, hit that notification bell to join the Iron Hide today. Also, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and then also make sure to join my Discord if you want to actually um, talk to me, anything thing like that. You want to ask me questions, anything like that. And then also join and support the Creator Hub server. That'd be greatly appreciated. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been Dead, guys. Later.